community of faith friends. We are exploring kids in the Bible that had a moment of courage. They stepped up when no one else would. This also involves one of the most amazing miracles by Jesus. And this one is extra special because he chose to use the generosity and courage of a child. Let's look for a moment of courage. See if you can find it. The boy picked up his heavy basket of fish and bread and began to make his slow journey home from the marketplace. It was almost dinner time and he was walking home to bring his family food. He stopped and noticed a crowd of people gathering a short distance away. There were old people, young people, rich people, poor people, sick people, and disabled people. There were people everywhere sitting on a hillside. What were they doing, he wondered. He heard a voice speaking and knew it must be this Jesus he had heard about. The crowd was there all morning, afternoon, and dinner. They forgot about time because they were so curious about what Jesus was saying. And so hours and hours went by without them noticing. Nobody had brought food, and most of them couldn't afford to buy any. The disciples said, why don't you send all the people home to find food? But Jesus said, they don't need to go. We can find them something to eat. They looked confused because there was not food anywhere. And it would take lots of money to feed this many people. But Jesus said, go find out what food we have. They looked around. The boy strained his neck but couldn't see over the heads of the crowds. He could barely move. So crouching low, he began to go through the people's legs and make his way to the front. He peeked out from under someone's legs and saw Jesus. The boy listened to him speak. He didn't sound like most other adults the boy knew. His words were so simple and his eyes were so kind. It almost took his breath away. Then he heard one of Jesus' followers shout in a loud voice asking the crowd, do any of you know where we can find food to share with these people? He looked at Jesus hoping he would catch his eye. The boy looked down at the two fish and five loaves of bread he had. This was all he had. He knew they were looking for food. His basket was full but it was meant for his family and would never feed all these people. Yet something stirred in his heart to give what he had to Jesus. So this boy found the courage to step forward and said, You can take what I have, Jesus. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw how small the amount of food was. That's not enough, they said. Jesus looked at the boy and smiled. He knelt down and looked at him in the eye and said in a quiet voice, Watch this. Jesus prayed and blessed the bread and fish. His friends looked at Jesus with wide open eyes. What was he going to do? This couldn't be possible, but it was. It was a miracle. A miracle is when something surprising happens that can't be explained. Fish and bread kept popping up everywhere. Jesus had a big smile as he passed the lunch out with the boy. The basket didn't have an end. There was more and more and more. There were over 5,000 people that were fed. They were laughing and there was excitement all around. They ate till their bellies were full and still there was more. As the boy looked around, he smiled and noticed how everything had changed. This moment was special because the boy got to see how much Jesus cared for all of them. He was so glad he had listened to the little nudge in his heart to step forward. If he hadn't done that, he would never have seen this amazing miracle. He looked up at Jesus as he looked at the crowd and the boy's heart swelled so big as he saw the love and joy on his face. Well done, kids. This boy's courage blessed a huge group of people. It was the most natural thing for the boy to respond. The whole crowd of 5,000 experienced how Jesus cares for their needs. And Jesus took something that looked little and filled it up to overflowing. Maybe there will be a moment in your life where God will ask you to have courage. It may be little or something big. How will you respond? Signing out.